This is a TF Source video review of Mastermind Creations KM01 Night Morpher Commander. When IDW was revealed to be the benefactor of the Transformers franchise from the defunct Dreamwave Productions, it opened the door for an all new take on the Transformers universe. Not only did IDW start with a fresh reboot of the Generation 1 universe, it created a few of its own, including the four issue Hearts of Steel miniseries. This storyline placed our robotic heroes and villains on prehistoric Earth and left them slumbering in caves until the start of the Industrial Revolution in America. Featuring historical characters such as John Henry, Mark Twain, and Jules Verne, this story was about as campy as Transformers has ever gotten. The radical retro designs of familiar characters ended up stealing the show and led to some incredible fan-made creations, including a full-on release of a Hearts of Steel fashioned Optimus Prime. Named the Night Morpher Commander, this beautiful third-party transforming creation is now available as a fully assembled figure ready to jump out of the past and into the collections of today. Your Night Morpher Commander comes expertly packaged by the folks at tfsource.com with multiple layers of protection, guaranteeing a minty fresh box and figure inside. The box has a high-gloss black finish to it and is quite plain when compared to other third-party packaging, such as Fan Project's Warbot Defender. The only photographic evidence of what is inside comes in the form of the Night Morpher mugshot centered on the front of the box. Other than that, you won't find much of interest on the box, so you might as well cut the tape and dig right in. The figure is packaged in vehicle mode within a fold-up plastic inner brace. Unfold the plastic and Night Morpher will be eager to jump into your hands. The instructions come in a plastic sleeve that also includes a very small helmet visor that can be placed on the figure's brow. The instructions consist of one black and white page with photographic instructions and are very to the point. Although the instructions state that some poses may require hand support, this reviewer found that it was hardly the case. Even this third party toy features the most requested Optimus accessory out there, the trailer. This time, Prime's trailer comes in the form of the rear portion of a steam locomotive featuring some very detail-oriented paint apps. The backside in particular includes some silver and red paint apps that would most likely be omitted in a standard Hasbro or Takara release. The train itself rolls along the ground with 14 rotating wheels with ease. Due to some clever designing, the front steam engine portion of the train car disconnects from the rear via some simple tabs and is reminiscent of the original Optimus and trailer cab construct. When disconnected from the rear, the front portion of the cab is quite stubby and rolls along on a new front set of six wheels. There is also an additional pair of wheels that can be extended to reach the ground in the front cab mode. The cab is a dead ringer for a turn of the century steam engine locomotive. The cowcatcher at the front of the engine also serves the authenticity of this peculiar alt mode. Collectors with a keen observation sense will notice a matrix-like emblem on the front of the engine that looks almost exactly like Big Convoy's matrix from Beast Wars Neo. Now on to the rear section. This trailer section opens up almost identically to the original G1 Optimus Prime trailer and reveals a cannon. This cannon can spin a full 360 degrees and can travel up and down the length of the trailer. This cannon is composed of accessories that may be used by Night Morpher in robot mode. When transforming Night Morpher into robot mode, it becomes apparent that many of his accessories transform with him. The smokestack and rear panel convert into his laser cannon and shield respectively, while the large rear cannon can be deconstructed to become the lance and backpack thrusters. The tiny brow visor may now be attached to the head to complete the robot mode. However, you may have trouble getting it to stay in place since it does not utilize any sort of peg holes. Night Morpher is not stingy with his articulation. Just about everything you want to rotate can. The joints vary in tightness quite a bit, but most are able to hold in each of their ratcheted positions. There are a multitude of options for Night Morpher's accessories. The shield and laser cannon may be stored in hand on the forearms or in the backpack thrusters. Night Morpher even comes with two options for fists. A pair of angled fists are stored underneath the rear trailer and can be swapped for the initial fists. This can help the figure hold the shield in hand, but more dynamic poses can be discovered with the shield attached to the forearm. 
One notable gimmick is the inclusion of an opening chest plate which contains a Hearts of Steel matrix. It seems a little odd to have a matrix emblem emblazoned on the waist and have an additional matrix on the chest, but who's keeping track anyway? The matrix is removable, but the figure cannot hold it. Night Morpher is definitely meant to be the one and only Optimus Prime, and as such, it must be compared to other various Optimus Prime toys. When showed next to his G1 incarnation in vehicle mode, it can be seen that the silver piston is meant to mimic Optimus's iconic trailer stripe. With the trailer connected, the steam engine is just shy of the length of the original Optimus Prime. In robot mode, it can be seen that Night Morpher is a bit taller than a typical Voyager class figure. The figure definitely wears its very own aesthetic that places it outside the realm of a typical official Transformer product, but its distinctive look may be desirable to the fans of the Hearts of Steel concept and story. If anything, it is at least refreshing to see an Optimus wielding new weapons like a lance and shield. Chances are that we will be seeing a Nemesis or Magnus version of this mold in our future, as most third-party toy manufacturers have taken a cue from Hasbro and are jumping on the repaint train themselves. Night Morpher is one of very few transforming toys that is meant to represent a very old-timey vehicle. Revenge of the Fallen began dabbling into the idea of Transformers disguised as turn-of-the-century vehicles, so we may see a bit more of this kind of concept in the future. However, it can only go back so far in history before there are no vehicles left to transform into. This figure has a few fragility issues, but nothing a careful collector will be unprepared for. Die-hard Optimus Prime collectors will be hard up to let this unique gem go unnoticed, as both the alt mode and the robot mode are very pleasing to the eyes. There is not a lot of room for play with this figure due to the ease of breakage for certain parts, so it is recommended for mainly die-hard collectors that prefer to see their toys on display, especially for the rather high asking price. As more third-party companies arise to fill the gaps left by Hasbro over the years, collectors are confronting more and more decisions on which pieces are essential for purchase. Night Morpher should definitely give your collection a unique edge that will keep people asking, what is that Optimus toy? One of these days, Hasbro may take a look at unique pieces like Night Morpher and give us a whole line of quirky, out-of-the-box Transformer molds. Until that day, take a trip back in time and grab this steampunk rendition of Optimus named Night Morpher Commander. <laughs>